Hello teachers, today I'm going to show you how to create a um, sorting activity on Class Kick. So first you get into your Class Kick and you choose the notebook you want to do it or you can create a new one. I'm going to choose my second nine weeks interactive math notebook. You're going to go and click on create a new slide. I'm going to click on my blank slide and I'm going to have this blank sheet in front of me. Then you're going to click on the camera and you're going to go to upload from computer because you want to get that PDF document, you know, so I'm going to come here. I'm going to click on this one because we're doing um, multiplication. This is several pages and if you want all of it, whatever it is that you have, you can import all pages or you just choose the page that you want. So and what happens is when they import all pages, it'll be all slides will be all all the pages will be on slides. OK. But for this, I just only want this page, let's say. Now, I'm not going to click next because if I click next, what's going to happen is this whole page will show up. So they're not going to be able to manipulate these pieces. They're not going to be able to move them. It's going to stay stuck. So for that reason, I'm going to get my highlighter here. You're going to click and drag. In other words, I'm going to highlight this piece. And then I'm going to put on next. I don't want to import all. So just put next. This means is it on the page that I want? Yes, that's the one I want. And then I'm going to say finish for this particular one because I just want that top part. I don't need any more. OK, so here it is. Now I'm going to do the bottom pieces and that's different. You're not going to do the, a camera piece of that. You're going to do the manipulatives because see for the camera, it stays there. It's not going to move when the kids get it. They're not going to be able to move this. What I want them to move is the pieces on the bottom. So that's when I go here to this where it says add manipulative. So I'm going to click it. I'm going to go to select file. From select file, I got to go back to where I was because, of course, I want to get the right um, <laughs> the right manipulatives to sort. I'm going to go back to that page. Here it is. OK, so then I come here and I'm going to highlight each piece. Click next. It's on that page. Yes, please. And you can see it says add another. Well, yes, because I have several. So I'm going to add another. And I'm going to go to the next one and I highlight it again. Notice I just highlight the little pieces that I want next because I want all those pieces are for a different, you know, rectangle sorting activity. So there's two. I'm going to add another. So I would continue to do this all the way until I have all of um, the pieces that I want them to sort next. Now, let's pretend that I went ahead and did all those pieces. OK. I would continue to say add another until I'm done with all the pieces I want. And then I'm going to put finish. So for now, we're going to stop with those three. And as I put finish, as you can see, it's loading and you can see the little pieces showing up. Then, of course, you're going to get each piece and you're going to put them on the bottom. So it depends on what sorting activity you might have. I know I got mine. I paid for it from teacher pay teachers. Wherever you get yours, you just, you know, you can use it and then put it into a PDF and then you can load it in. So here we do. we have it right here so that the students can move this. They won't be able to move this because that's an actual picture that they cannot manipulate. But since this is manipulatives that I had chosen up here, this is the one they can move. And I'll show you what it looks like on the students end. OK, so here I am in my student interactive notebook. If you remember, it was on slide 18. So I'm going to go all the way down to my slide 18. This is what it would look like in the student end. See, so notice I can't move this. And the reason I can't move this is because it was uh, downloaded as a picture. Remember that? But what I can move are these because I did it as manipulatives. So they would put it here and they would sort it. Of course, this doesn't match there, but they would put it somewhere here. And then, of course, as they do the rest, they would match it. So that is how you can create a sorting activity on class kit.